Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here today on BeamNG Drive, having a little bit of a revisit to the Ultimate Endurance course. Now, this is a Driven Till Destruction style circuit uh, that I drove a little while ago. I think it's a couple of months ago. I played a fairly early version of this track, and there was definitely some promise to it. Uh, it was an interesting layout and could punish the cars pretty well. It's since been updated a few times. Uh, is a more sort of complete map. I thought I'd come back and have another look and see how it was, uh, see how it was doing, see how it worked and everything. Uh, so we're going to start off and we're going to drive a Roma around here because uh, these destruction circuits, certainly to get them to how I like them, is they're, they're a difficult thing. You want them to be punishing. You want them to be able to break cars in fun and interesting ways. And you want them to be able to be punishing to something like this. The Roma's fairly tough. You want a track to be able to destroy a Roma without it taking, you know, three quarters of an hour to destroy it. Um, but you also want it to be survivable for a normal car to at least be able to have a chance of doing a lap or two. It's a very difficult balance to, to get with these circuits. Um, there's, the layout has changed and there are some new obstacles. The main obstacles are the same, but we've got this sort of rock slalom. Now, when your vehicle's in pristine condition, this bit's not a problem. Uh, okay, the Roma doesn't have the most grip. Uh, this is actually another challenge of these circuits. Uh, in pristine condition, this bit's no problem. But as the vehicles get more damaged, these obstacles that look mundane do suddenly become quite a problem. And try, again, try to find obstacles that are you know, challenging for working cars while not being impossible for broken cars, uh, also not the easiest. Uh, dangerous part here, this cliff face, if you fall off, it's a long way to get yourself back onto the circuit. You can do it, you can loop yourself back around, but it's going to be a long drive, so ideally not going to fall off. Oh, that's going to be a crunchy, bouncy landing. Um, but yeah, th there are going to be some heavier impacts across these jumps. This is the main way you'll see some damage occurring to vehicles. Uh, but there is a good sort of comb say combination of stuff. Oh, there's some small jumps, some bigger jumps, handling tests. The works really to test out these vehicles uh, down here. We've got this high-speed dirt section as well to uh, fling the car down and hope that it will... Surprise the Roma wet bounced over there. Road cars, yeah, they kind of ping off the uh, mud, but I expected the Roma to be able to ride that one out. It didn't. It went for a tumble. Uh, but it has come out the other side in one piece. I mean, the rules, as ever, with these destruction circuits, um, I've got to drive the cars as hard as I can. I can't just cruise around very slowly, because, yeah, sure, they'll never die if I take all the jumps really carefully. But that's boring. So I've got to drive them as fast as is, as is reasonable, like, as fast as I can keep them under control at, basically. This jump, oh, slightly reworked uh, run up to that jump. You don't actually hit that jump as fast now. So the landing is going to be different, I think, for that section. Do you want first gear on the exit? Well, it's container slot. The actual slalom here isn't very extreme, but it's the bumps sort of in the middle of it that cause vehicles problems. Not the worst for the Roma, but it is still a little bit of a challenge uh, to get it right. Ooh, lots of ooh, lots of understeer, just lack of grip in general. This very bumpy section now towards the end of a lap. Uh, we do have, the, oh god, the other change is along here. We kind of kill a little bit of speed and we have a water section. Now this could actually help uh, vehicles. One of the concerns with destruction series in this game is the oil pan damage. It's easy to lose the oil pan and that generally kills a car quite quickly. You get a little bit of time. It's a bit like losing the radiator. It's like a more extreme version of losing a radiator, but uh, the water there can help cool engines a little bit, keep them alive for a little bit longer, perhaps. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. This track, though, unlike um, the old circuit I had, this track doesn't seem to destroy the oil pans as much. It still will happen, I have no doubt. Uh, however, the other circuits have tended to kill oil pans very quickly since that was a thing added. This one doesn't, uh, with the way the oh, the way the jumps are. Ugh. I really don't want to. Okay, I can't take that level of speed through there. We just don't have the uh, sort of grip to do it. Especially, I mean, this is still in pretty good condition. We can go over these. We're fine over these bumps, uh, barriers essentially. We're fine over those. If we have collapsed suspension, that could easily tear a wheel off. Uh, that is actually quite a nasty landing. It's a very rough surface you're jumping the car into. This is kind of fine to go across the top of it. I worry about sports cars. Uh, or potential. Again, in pristine condition, they'll be fine. It's if something's broken and snags, we may see some heavy damage on that. This jump here, I mean, you're, it's, it's, not the, it's not the complete worst landing possible, but it is a heavy landing onto concrete. Uh, again, we're going to jump across here. We're bouncing... 
And again, we're going to bounce up into the air. Not too bad for the Roma. Try not to spin it. We have gathered it all back up. We're going to go down this muddy section. Okay. I mean, the suspension's working a bit of overtime. We've hit the nose a bit on the floor. Nothing too bad. Have we collapsed any front suspension? The front right doesn't look so great. I'm not going to say it's completely wrecked, but it definitely doesn't look great. And that's, I mean, you know, what we're, what we're likely to see from these vehicles. We're likely to see suspension damage. Uh, this, this, this track's slightly less of a drive shaft killer. The, this is, I mean, this is the big jump. That is the one that will potentially kill drive shafts. Uh, so what kills the drive shaft on, on cars, uh, on, I say, on, on the strong vehicles, is you get the bending of the chassis. So you get the nose is basically being bent up to the point where the engine is at a silly angle and the drive shaft will, will snap. And a lot of these jumps don't really bend the chassis in that way. Uh, a lot of them, because they're slightly smaller jumps, they're more focused... This circuit is more focused on kind of wheel damage, um, it seems. Wheel damage, suspension damage, and the like, which is fun. Uh, which often gets more entertaining deaths. We, I'm sure drive shafts will still fail around here. Engines will still fail because it'll land on its nose somewhere. And weaker cars, he's sure. Um, but it is a little bit more of, a, I think, a wheel and suspension killer here. That front right is definitely down. And it's definitely unhappy uh, around here. But, we don't, I mean, we completed a couple of laps. And the Roma... I mean, this is sort of what we want. The Roma is taking damage. It's definitely not... Uh, it's not... I say it's not, it's not close to death yet. Uh, but it's, it's definitely not in pristine condition uh, anymore. Uh, however... It is, it is surviving the course for the moment uh, through the rock slalom we go. That's actually just better judged by me. There's a very, <laughs> there's a line, a very narrow line, but if you get it right, there is a line. Uh, we'll bounce our way over here. Again, I'm not so... Maybe I should be more fussed about these. I think in our current state, we're fine not to really have to worry about those uh, barriers all too much. Uh, oh! Oh, I take it back about the drive shaft. Ow, the, en the engine's actually fallen out. That's why it died. Holy crap, the engine fell out. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's... I, that, I feel like that's almost like engine mounting failure rather than... That wasn't sort of the bent chassis in the drive shaft snap. The engine has actually just come away from the truck. <laughs> Holy crap, I want to lift this truck up because I want to see... I want to see what's happened. There, yeah, the whole the engine, the landing over here. I mean, it landed on this. In fact, you can kind of see where it's landed. This is nasty. It's got like a cheese grater almost. But if it lands on it hard, it can go wrong. You can see where the exhaust caught. Um, but yeah, it's, it's landed in such a way that it's just pulled the engine off its mountings. And, yeah, the engine has half fallen out of the truck. No wonder all the drive shafts snapped on it. Everything went wrong on the <laughs> one landing. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. I mean, the Roma was going well, but, uh, yeah, that is a heavy landing for the truck. That is not a failure I expected to see. That is not a failure I expected to see. However, the Roma, the Roma is very much dead indeed. <laughs> Up next, we have got a new vehicle to beam. This is the Bastion. It is kind of a Dodge Charger style car. Uh, I've gone for a sort of mid-ish tier rear-wheel drive V8 uh, vehicle. Not crazy powerful, but still pretty good power. Uh, of course, this is not a car, not, not, not a vehicle designed for off-roading. Okay, this is not designed to tackle this sort of course will be interesting to see how it fares. Uh, I mean, we've seen in the past that sometimes sports cars don't actually do terribly around these circuits. Well, yes, the suspension isn't designed for the extreme off-road punishment that it's going to get. Uh, suspensions can be quite strong on these, so it, they can sometimes take a beating. Sometimes the wheels just fall off and that's game over. I don't know. I, I haven't really done much with this car, so I don't know what we're going to see from it in terms of strength. Oh. Don't want to really no, the low ride height does make those those bits a little more a little more dangerous. And no because it's rear wheel drive quite high powered, it doesn't Oh, that is a horrible section. Um I don't know whether you're better off trying to get airtime and 
almost avoiding it. The difficulty I have is trying to put the power down and not spin the wheels up. Uh, because we don't want to spin the car over a jump. Oh, radiator has gone immediately. That's, I say, kind of surprising. Um, I haven't seen too many vehicles have radiator problems around here, but I mean, it's always likely you're going to lose radiators uh, with some vehicles. I have a feeling something else is going to kill it before it overheats. Uh, not always the case. You know, sometimes you get surprised by stuff. And we do have the water to help cool a car uh, if things go horrifically wrong. There's a couple of water sections, I guess. Oh, uh, there goes the oil pan as well. Uh, and the engine has been battered on that run down the hill. In fact, the bigger, my bigger concern is not that. My bigger concern is the front left wheel. In fact, the front suspension's gone completely. Uh, the Bastion, not so strong. Not as strong as some some cars I would have wanted to see. Oh, the exhaust has fallen off. Um, oh, that's bad. This, if, this, if this survives to a point where the engine overheats, either from radiator damage or oil loss, I'm going to be amazed because the suspension's crying enough and we've not completed a lap yet. Um, yeah, this is a sports spec of the car, of course. It is uh, not exactly designed with this in mind. I'm looking forward to the uh, water section we're coming up to. If we don't get bogged down too much, oh, nearly slid our way. I've got no grip out here at all. It just wants to snap sideways. Uh, I can't really use much of the power. I mean, it was, I've got to be as far. I've got to go as fast as I can with a car, but this I just can't use the throttle. I can't use the power. It doesn't want to put any of it to the road. Uh, there's just no no grip from the tyres. Now the water shield hopefully help us cool down. Nope. No. <laughs> the engine. The water's not helped. The engine's broken. I don't know. I don't know whether that's from oil loss or whether that's from just hitting the floor. Hmm. The Bastion, not great. I'm, I'm gonna say, not great. If we ignore the fact that the engine died, looking at how much damage has gone on the front of that car, I'm not really sure it was gonna be lasting long regardless. Um, yeah. Funnily enough, the Charger, a like car. Not so good at the destruction circuit. Bastion might not have worked amazingly well, but what about something different? This is the Wendover. Uh, surprisingly strong was what we found. I found with it uh, the last time I took it around a destruction circuit, but how it's going to fare at what is a very different track, I do not know. So we are going to launch the car and find out. This is a sort of mid-spec version. It's one of the V8 uh, engine cars. It's going to have a decent amount of grunt. It's not going to be ridiculously fast, but it's not going to be terrible. That's the hope here. That is the, uh, the big hope here, at least, that it's going to be quick enough to get itself out of trouble uh, and keep itself going, but not unbelievably fast, so we're hitting jumps with too much speed. And as I said, yeah, this was a strong, strong car around our previous destruction circuit. It took an awful lot to kill it. Uh, so hopefully that will continue now whether there have been tweaks to the vehicle i don't know um whether this track will you know this track may not work for this style of car Ooh, got quite a lot of its front wheel drive quite heavy we're gonna have a lot of understeer it'll not be fine i take it back <laughs> okay maybe we don't go for that uh, that route there uh jump down there uh, it's not yeah it's not gone, not gone great down that side. I, I'm not sure whether jump, try to jump and clear it and hope for the best. But it might actually be a case of, oh, we're going to fall over. Don't get beached, don't get beached. If a car gets beached or stuck on its roof, it will be rolled over or pulled out using the node grabber. Uh, you know, if you end up in an awkward place and beach it on a jump or a low slung sports car gets stuck in the mud somewhere, they can be pulled free. Uh, they're not going to get counted out for, uh, for that one. Uh, this, I mean, the steering is buckled. I can tell you that much. The steering is unhappy. It's pulling quite a lot to the left. Uh, it's not the as worst, not the worst it could be. You know, I'm actually happy to. Well, I say happy. If it slides down the road on its roof, that means it's not damaging the wheels. It can bend the roof all it likes. Doesn't matter. It can buckle the roof. It can push the roof into the cabin for all I care. It uh, doesn't matter because that's not going to affect the vehicle's ability to continue driving. Okay, yes, if I was in the car, I'd care, but, you know, we're in a game, it doesn't matter. Uh, so any damage that can go to other parts of the vehicles that aren't aren't critical to 
his ability to make forward progress, I'm happy about. Um, yeah, if he wants to take off bumpers, that's all good. We will launch it into the puddle. Oh, that took out the radiator. That's a little bit of a shame. Uh, normally, if the vehicles land in the water, that kind of softens the impact, and they don't normally puncture a radiator. However, that one did. So, you know, if, again, it will vary. With different vehicles, different things will happen to cars in, in some of these obstacles. Uh, we're around this hairpin. Now, this section here will be punishing a little bit to the car. I don't expect the engine... I mean, I think with the uh, Bastion, because the suspension was so broken, the engine was actually hitting the floor. So, because the, the engine was, like, hitting these crests, this has got suspension still in the front. So, that is absorbing the impact. That helps, you know. It's, it's, that can take the, the impact. It's not going straight onto the engine, putting the shock through the engine that risks breaking it. Um, yeah, it's a little unfortunate that radiator's gone. The car will overheat at the end of the day. It is a death sentence to a degree. Just how long can it run before it overheats uh, will be the question. It's not looking great for the Wendover. That's a lot of understeer. Uh, it's very wide. Never mind. We'll get away with being wide there. That corner we're fine with. It's this next corner. We can't really get away with running wide. Uh, we'll slow you down here. There we go. Nicely does it. A little bit more difficult to see when we've got... Uh, a screen full of steam coming off the vehicle. Uh, we'll go around the outside of that one, I think. Probably the way to do it. Through there. Now, this section here. What do we do? Please don't break the car! Oh, I, it's something pinged off it. Nothing important. Uh, it's fine. I think, over there, if you can go fast enough, you can have a better landing. Just looking at... Oh, that's right on the centre of the car. Uh, coolant is overheating now. Okay, we need to get it to some water. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like wooden lattice work. Um, if you jump a little further, there's a slightly kind of downward slant that you could aim for that if you land on, I suspect, will be nicer for the car. The engine starved of oil as it's tumbling through the air. I mean, that's the least of my concerns. Uh, oh, we've buckled a rear wheel. I'm not sure we're going to have a car live long enough to get to that water. That rear wheel is at all sorts of bad angles here. We've not got much steering. If we can get it off the big jump... Oh, that front wheel is flapping in the breeze. Does that have any... No, we've got no control on the front wheel. Uh, so, I mean, if the engine doesn't die, we might stop being able to put pad out. We turn to the left really well because of that rear toe we've got going on. Uh, we won't turn to the right very well, if at all. It will not turn right. It's... Come on. Okay, we've had to slow to a crawl to make that corner. It has barely made it. We're going to have no momentum going over this jump, so we're going to land right on the nose. The only good thing is we land on the other side of the car rather than the buckled wheel. Um, we are severely struggling now. More, more so with steering. It's actually going to go out with steering. I just can't pull the car. The toe and the busted front wheel means that there is nothing I can do. I'm full lock, and it doesn't turn anymore. <laughs> that is a steering failure. It did die before the engine overheated, only just, but uh, the steering damage on that car. The steering damage, that front wheel locking itself full left, and the rear wheel buckled in that manner meant it just didn't want to turn. And, yeah, we were full lock and was going incredibly slowly. Um, and that, yeah... That there is a steering failure for the for the Wendover. It's definitely a, a punishing punishing circuit. This one, and finally we have got a sunburst. We're gonna send a rally car around here. See what might happen with this one. Uh, the rally cars plus point big plus point for the rally cars is of course they've got suspension designed to deal with bumps, designed to deal with hitting bumps quite fast. So. In theory, it is ideal. However, in practice, rally cars are not always uh, as good around these circuits as you expect. Because, well, a rally car is very capable. Which means if I'm driving the vehicle as fast as it can go, that's often going quite quick. And if something goes wrong, when something goes wrong, which it inevitably will, it tends to be a massive crash. So, <laughs> we will see how this one fares. Oh, uh, it's not too bad over there, actually. I don't really want to hit that 
like that too much. Uh, now, we should accelerate faster here. Okay, that was actually a little too fast over that jump. We hit the uh, concrete on the landing, although I feel like that's still better than... potentially better than the uh, lattice work. We damaged something in the induction system, not sure what. Turbo still works. That's the bit that kind of matters. All right, that's not too bad or on the landing. It's, yeah, these sort of landings here, these harsh landings. That's what tests the car suspension. It's what's going to break them. I mean, that's the point. It's, there's got to be stuff that breaks the cars. And uh, now I'm being a little careful with the throttle down these sections. Because this is so quick, uh, it will be very easy just to lose control of the car. Yes, it's got grip on the dirt that some of the other vehicles don't. Uh, but, yeah, I'm still, I'm still going to try and re retain control of the vehicle through the course. It's the little bits of caution there. Uh, through the lumber yard area we go. Oh, carefully does it over those. That's fine. Uh, oh, get the car settled for the big jump. See, that's not too bad landing there, actually. That's found a nice little landing spot uh, for the sunburst to go and not cause itself too much grief. Okay, through the... Cont oh, I say that. No, something's not right. Not sure what's not right. Front wheel? Maybe it just hit a bump or something... Something felt like it had a lot of toe or steering damage going on all at once, and I'm not, sh I'm not sure what caused that. I'm not sure whether it was related to the surface, the bit that we were on. Uh, quite, well, yeah, whatever happened, the car was unhappy momentarily. It seems to have sorted itself out now. Through the water, the cooling section we go, essentially, before we head on to another lap. Suspension looks good. Uh, oh. Big lock up in the first corner, won't help, uh, but we get away with it. The bumper's reattached itself, even better. <laughs> We're fixing the car as we go along, not quite. Uh, almost fixed the car as we were going along, damn it. Spoke too soon. Can I get rid of the bumper? No. <laughs> Tried to take it off on the... I kind of want it to fall off. Um, ideally, if we could get rid of it, just so that it doesn't like go under the car, and or ensnare a wheel, would, we would like it to come off. I don't want to risk crashing... Oh, I say that, we got that a little bit wrong. Uh, I don't want to risk actually hitting a wall trying to get rid of it, but if I can get rid of it on a bit of scenery without damaging my car, I'd be happy. Nope. Okay, over here we go. That's a lit... Well, I thought that was better. It wasn't. We have now become a front-wheel drive only. We've become a front-wheel drive only, but it's become a front-wheel drive in a really... What is going on with the diff? I don't know. Why does this not... This should work. This should still drive as a front-wheel drive. Why are you not working is the better question. I mean, can it even clear the... 30 mile an hour rule that I was going to set out? It can just about. I'm, okay, so my guess is what this is doing is... The rear drive shaft is broken at a point where it's going to the wheels. So the wheels aren't getting the power, but the power is being wasted. So we've not actually not got much power going to the front. Oh, the bumper's fallen off. I mean, that is the least of my concerns. Now, front wheel doesn't look very healthy either. Uh, the car's going to overheat uh, because of the way it's being driven by the looks of it. Yeah, because I'm just it's just at the rev limiter. It's working itself to death, basically. Uh, <laughs> Hmm. That's a strange death as well. That's a strange way to go. And it's through the water we head. It's the engine's not going to last very long. I mean, I think it's going to get counted out on the crawler rule regardless. Uh, but the head gear, yeah, the engine's going to blow itself up. <laughs> um, oh, I wasn't looking where I was going. I mean, it's, it's kind of irrelevant. Wow, it just doesn't... It doesn't even drive in reverse. Ah, oh, that took a wheel out on its own. Um, yeah, okay. I was expecting that to be fine with being front-wheel drive, but it's not. The diff just wastes all of the power, I presume. That's the only thing that can make any sort of logical sense to me. Um, okay, I was spinning the camera around and the car died. Uh, but I don't think it could actually reach a 30 mile an hour speed, really. Here. Oh, and this engine's blowing up there, regardless. Uh, <laughs> Huh. Well, that is a curious death for a rally car. Um, 
Well, there we go. I mean, as far as the track goes, I like it. As I said, I do like it. It's it's punishing this circuit, which is it, it's, it's good. It means that things like a pickup truck, things like the off-roaders, are never going to be able to survive it. There's a couple of places that are. I mean, I say the main thing that I would say is this this section here is uh, snagging cars in a little bit of a funny way. Uh, I might have to have a little bit of a play around with it. It might be a case of um, treat like almost like a rock crawling section, like a section where you've got to really slow down and not, not get any airtime over and kind of take it slowly. Um, and then I guess if you'd have damaged cars, if you drop a wheel in the gaps, uh, you'd get in trouble. Like if you've got steering damage, you'd make it a different, a little bit of a different challenge. Because, um, yeah, that, that oddly, I wasn't expecting it, but that is probably the most treacherous part of the whole circuit. The rest of it, though, I do really like. Um, I like the combination of jumps. I mean, this, this, as I said, this is more of a suspension wheel killer, uh, which is good. Uh, we've had drive shaft killers in the past and so on, and I, and I, I prefer the suspension and wheel killers. Uh, you often get a bit more wacky results from these as cars bounce around and ping around and odd things can happen. Um, yeah, I quite, I quite like this layout. I quite like this layout. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this mod uh, as it goes through any more uh, tweaks and changes, etc. Because uh, it is a good destruction circuit. It just about, it, it, that's it, it does almost just about tick all of the boxes. And I do like the new additions. I think they all really work uh, very well for this track. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.